The days following my new Plymouth trip were very significant. Not just to me, but also loads of other rail fans, as the six DBR locomotives that were in storage in Paikaka Riki finally left the yard after spending around three years there. They are owned by DBM Contracting, and quite bizarrely two of them, numbers 1199 and 1282, were transferred to Mount Maunganui because they were headed for the Goldfields Railway in Waihi. Interestingly, two of Dean's other locomotives were already in Waihi before the DBRs arrived, namely DSC 2338 and a yellow Niigata shunter. The latter has already featured in a few of my previous videos, though this was before I got the D5600 camera. If I recall correctly, the DSC and Niigata arrived at the railway in July 2020. Initially, 1199 and 1282 were brought up to Hamilton on November 16, in the consist of train 234. Then, on the night of Thursday, November 17, they continued with their transfer to Mount Maunganui on train 345. But by the time they arrived in Tauranga, it was already after midnight, without referencing JJ Kale. Because there is no longer a rail connection between Tauranga and Waihi, the DBRs were brought up to their new home on a truck. And on Saturday, November 19, I was in Waihi to observe 1282's arrival. Meanwhile, DSA 551 was running the regular passenger service to Waikino and back. Returning to Waihi, we see the truck backing down into a siding where the DBR could be safely unloaded. I'll also take this opportunity to thank Greg from the Goldfields team for letting me have a look around the yard.
Not too long after the truck arrived, DSC-2338 was fired up in order to help bring the DBR onto Goldfield's metals. Incidentally, this was also the first time I ever saw this locomotive moving. The men were installing short lengths of rail to bridge the gap between the siding and truck trailer, and what happened next was quite surprising to me. By this time of the day, a small number of cyclists, walkers and fellow rail fans had turned up to see what was going on. Dean and his engines had to wait for the 11.30 service to leave before continuing with their shunting.
The next few scenes, including this one, were filmed at the Maddox Street Crossing, located at the far western end of Wayhee Yard.
DSC 2338 left the DBR sitting in the yard just across from the station and went back to the truck siding to await the arrival of DBR 1199 the next morning. I still can't believe there's any large diesels, let alone two DBRs, are now preserved at my local heritage railway. If I remember rightly, I was told that the aim is to have 1199 and 1282 running the passenger service in a top and tail formation, similar to those EOs when they were running in Wellington. And indeed I look forward to seeing the DBRs running the passenger service if and when it works out.